Hello viewers, I am Praveen. In this course, you are quickly learning all the operating system concepts uniquely through question and answer sessions. So let's begin. Explain batch processing system with a neat diagram. So I'll, with a picture, I will try to first explain to you what is batch processing system. Looking, looking at this diagram, you could see here there are many users. So all the users actually will provide, will give their jobs to an operator. The operator, based on the kind of job that has been given, he will segregate them into different batches. And all the jobs of the similar kind, of, of the one same kind, will be given to the computer to execute. Now the reason behind this was, like in 1960s, the computer could do only one work at a time. So the batch processing system operates strictly one job at a time manner. And within a job, it executes the program one after the another. So taking a simple a payroll system as an example. I'll, I'll try to explain to you like how this whole system worked. In a payroll system, we'll have basically two things. One is the computer definitely need to have all the data of the employee and it should get the current months, how many days the person has come to work. The second batch process could be that it will print all this data based on the number of days and the actual other data of the employee like what is his salary. So what is his fixed salary and the number of days work it will do the calculation and it will print a current month's salary. So in 1960s there was nothing like one could enter the data directly into the computer. There was something like the sponge cards. The punch card on the top you could see it was having all the data of the employee and then they could they would feed the current month's detail over here. And this punch card is was given to the mainframe systems or given to the system. The system will read the da this data and it will update it computer. And after that, when the print execution command is given, it will print all the employees. So, like, if there are 100,000 employees, 1,000 cards will be accumulated at a time. First, first, they will be punched with all the data, like how many days the person has come for work, okay, and 1,000 cards. So, their punching machines are different, basically. That was not the computer. So, the punching machines will be used to make the holes, okay. And that is given to the computer. So you could have a big rack with thousands of cards you could insert into that. And the computer will automatically pick up one one card. It will read that card and feed that data into the computer. There was only one program used to work and that was understanding the data and feeding into the computer was the program that used to run. And when the second instruction, second batch work was given, the computer would actually take that data. Now this data, whatever it has captured from the punch card, is it has printed into the magnetic tapes. And from the magnetic tape, it will pick up, it will do the calculation, and it will go and print that particular, the pay slip to the print, in the printer. So I try to explain to you, like how this all batch processing works. The batch processing, I, as it could, uh, based on what I have told, it's, it should be very clear that it does only one job at a time. So you would have to accumulate the complete work that you have to do, a similar kind of, or same type of work. Like example, feeding data into the computer is one of the work. So you will feed, feel all the punch cards, which, which will feed the employee's data, same on only the employee's data, so it will feed all the employee's data into the computer. Yeah? That could be the one batch. Now, taking the data 
and printing that to the printer could be the another so i, I hope it, i try to explain to you very clearly okay let's understand this mm, go through the next ones so the batch processing system the seek batch is a sequence of user, user jobs formed for processing by the os the batching kernel initiate processing of job without requiring the computer operator's intervention that was one of the beauty of it i as i told you the all the all the punch cards are accumulated and they are put into the card bin the computer will automatically pick up each card from the bin so it could be going on for the whole night so without the operator's intervention it would pick up each card and read the information and update the card magnetic tapes so the card reader and the printer were a performance bottleneck in the 1960s so the as the computer could do only one work so there was something like a performance bottleneck either you can feed data into the computer or the computer can print it to the printer but people wanted both things to happen so virtual card reader and printers implemented through the magnetic tapes were used to solve the problem so as i had told you in the example itself the the card reader is actually a card it's it's a it's a paper card so that paper card data is entered into the computer the computer takes that paper card picks up all the information and goes and enters that into the magnetic tape so when the next time you you tell the computer to pay the uh, print the pay slips it will pick the data from the magnetic tape one by one do the calculation and print the pay slip the next one is command interpreter re read and read a card when currently executing program in job wanted the next card so there was something called a command interpreter which used to read the card when currently executing program is in job wanted the next card so when the when there was a next card requirement the command interpreter will go and pick up the next card so see here there is one more diagram here to explain you the same thing basically so all the jobs are accumulated and the jobs are submitted so all the job is submitted and it is formed so the batches are formed and the formed batches are actually given for execution Uh, from time t1 to t2 and from time t2 to t3 all the results are printed so i hope uh, this madam this uh, is making it very clear to you uh, what this batch processing system is so if you have liked this video please subscribe like share or comment so that we can improve upon whatever we are delivering thank you for watching